Rain, 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 rain. All you gotta do is watch for everybody cutting you up and not indicating. You're not gonna bother indicating. Don't bother then, right? Hmm, lovely. Now, I've said this before, the more white in the road, the more danger. Now, if you ride over a white line in the wet, it will give you an idea just how much grip you've got when you're not on a white line. So that will give you a little bit of confidence. So there's a lot of grip from your tyres in the wet. I'm going to show you a quick clip, I'm going to nick it and show you just how good your tyres can be and how skillful you can actually get. These guys are awesome, they're an inspiration and should be to everybody. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go out and ride and do that. I'll tell you what, if you've got a bike and you're prepared to risk dropping it a few times to get an idea of how much grip you've got and how good your tyres are, yeah, have a go if you're prepared to drop your bike and pick it up, get a car pack and have a play, get some protective gear on. But, by all means, practice in the rain, yes, but what you've got to try and do, of course, is find the limits of your bike, don't go over them. Like a lot of riding that I do, even in the dry, I, I spend a lot of time on the back brake, like I am there, and as I come out of the corner, I'll come off it. And I'm not accelerating out of these corners, I'm keeping my tyres off the, the white lines, car coming towards me here, I'm just going to keep left, give him a chance to go around. And that's a drop down here. I'm keeping right in the middle of the road, keeping off the leaves, I've got a car coming towards me, I'm going to slow down a little bit. He's indicating left, is he turning left? He is. Now we're going into a driveway, I'm just going to back off here and drop in behind this white one. And we're good, we're dropping behind the white one, we're going around the left hand bend slightly. Got a bit of protection from this car in front. Fires are steaming up. Look at the white there, not, high, not an ideal spot to be leaning over too much, you just try and upright it. We're going to go right at the giveaway, I'm just not going to race up behind this car. And you can look at the shininess of this road, you'd be surprised just how much grip we've got. I'm going to go right here on Lily Street. So watch this guy, you know, that right shoulder there. That's lovely. And then we're going to go down here. Again, get out here, don't have to get left hand side here, you can just see a lot, a lot from this position on the road here. with this. Now this is a nasty little junction isn't it? You'd think somebody could easily come across there so we'll just double check. Keep them in mind. Car coming towards me. Now he's pulled in now. So I'll do. I'll go back out again. Middle of the road. Don't get too near these cars. I'm coming up to a giveaway. And I've got a, look at that. I've got a slight rise in the road like a little speed bump here. we wet on it and white. We'll keep it tight to the left here. Right we've got a bit of traffic. I'm going to back brake it here. Pick me spot when I get a chance to pull out. I'm going to get it after this Subaru. The mate has dropped back in the milk. I'll give him a thanks, I think I did that on purpose. So I'll give him a wave. <clears throat> the 
cars turning right. So a lot of these cars in the right hand lane might want to swing to my lane to drop past him. So I'm just being aware of them. Look at my positioning here. I want to be seen, but also so put myself, it's a bit of a fine line, isn't it? Where you put yourself. You want to be in the mirrors, but also not too close that, the, that they, they could hit you. You know, so you've got to sort of weigh up each situation by its merits like that. You know, you want to put yourself in a position where you can be seen in the mirrors, but that would mean putting myself in that position. But ideally, that's a bit too, too close. Ideally, you want to be over here. And as I get through this section here, I'm just making sure this guy's not going to turn left on me into this lane. Now, I'm going to squirt up his inside, so to speak, for now. Okay, that's it. So we'll go through that little bit of a section. Back to talking about wet weather riding. And just not racing into areas where you've got to be able to stop in the distance you can see and you're, you're on the limits. You've got to ride within the limits of your bike. You can't ride on it because in the wet your different road surfaces will give different amounts of grip so you can't really weigh up how much grip you've got from one section to the next. And actually it's fun. It's a nice balance. It's a nice way of learning how to ride as well because ultimately if you ride smoothly you'll be a better rider and if you learn to ride smoothly in the dry and concentrate on a smooth, smooth, smooth progression so to say it's easy for me to say you will become a better rider and you'll also equally become exceptional in the wet Bit of a careful spot there, right? And as this goes, that's worked out quite nicely for me. I have to be a bit careful, and we're stopping. So we'll back off now. Just watching the rear, and again, when it's wet, people can be a bit dozy. They could skid to a halt, skid into the back of you. We're good. Cars behind stopping. I'll have a bit of a visor up to steam mist a little bit. Scanning the areas, making sure all's good. And I'm on a, I suppose you call it a 50-50 tyre, it's a good commuting tyre but it's good for the off-roading as well so it's maybe not such a great wet weather tyre. My rear tyre is a, a, a Motors Tractionator GPS, it's uh, quite horrific in the wet upright from a standing start like this it will spin out because there's no center line there's no groove in the center what we've got is solid it's basically if you like a slick down the middle which is a bit weird it could do with a little bit of grip in the wet so i've got to be tentative when i set off as i set off i'm going the back wheel is going to go over a white line it will spin up and it will sometimes let go a lot more when it's cold doesn't take a lot of warming up even in this it will grab a bit of temperature and start improving so it's worse when I just set off I'm just watching this blue Hyundai coming out of the right hand junction there in case it gets let out by that RAV there it's just little things like that you've got to watch for as I'm going down the road here I've got the white car on my left now I was going to change lanes but I don't have to do now there was a car turning right Again, I'm watching down here, there's cars waiting to turn right, so shoulder check, and I'll go over now, quite early, make sure that uh, things are good and we're not going to end up in any, see this one with the tyres moving, let's move out of the way, um, any conflict with other vehicles. So I've got reds in the distance, cars braking, cars changing lanes. It's looking good, they've gone to red, sorry they've gone to green and we're going to cut for this lane because he's turning right and I'll tell you what I'm going to do, he's going to stick with this lane for a minute just to get an idea what's going on, you know what, I'll change, change my mind couldn't see to the left how many cars were queuing lots of shoulder checks, mirror checks, I'm just watching Subaru on my left, now my left left lane, I've got three lanes here, between 3 and 7pm is a bus lane, so there should be nobody over there. I've got a white car in the middle waiting to come out into my lane. I'm hoping he's seen me, I can't rely on hope, so I'll just give it a left shoulder check there and just give him a bit more space. Right, that's better, we're back out again. 
again similar situation and I've got no benefit for being further forward than this watching these cars coming towards me turning right but I can't get anywhere so there's no point in riding up that Volkswagen Golf's ass. so I'll just stay at this distance here braking distances need to be increased a lot when it's wet I can edge forward now between this silver Mazda and this black Subaru don't want to be at their side I do like these little warning things in the mirrors that light up to say there's somebody there they're good I could probably go a bit further forward again as I'm approaching now you can see in the distance it's quite some distance probably about four or five hundred meters 400 meters now I've got red traffic lights I've also got a bus with hazard lights on parked up on the left hand side so he's going to cause a bit of a backup so I could have gone to the left lane middle lane sorry but I won't yeah I can actually I'm gonna do now change my mind shouldn't be indecisive I am gonna go left lane because just after the bus the left the bus lane changes it disappears it stops and I have actually got the option to go down the left hand side now and I'm just gonna watch only these cars want to do the same this left lane also goes straight on so I'm just gonna watch for these cars moving across on me and I'll back off slightly and I reckon we might even get a green here I'm just gonna time it yeah I could have timed that a bit better if I'd have speeded up a little bit and got through that gap and got in front of them, but no matter. It's all about progress, but you've got to make good decisions and be safe. Now, my left lane ends, I'll go to the middle lane. And this will become lane one of two. Just checking that shoulder there. He's alright. Doing good progress. Again, nothing jerky keeping it smooth keeping a good observation on what's going on junctions to the left i'm just watching my road positioning here i'm not pushing a lot i'm not getting too close to the hyundai again it's about stopping distances it's about keeping an eye on the changing road surfaces and climbing up a hill there is little to no danger where i'm at the moment got a slight right hand bend and I'm just going to stick at this position I got a good view around the bend from the left hand lane shoulder checks again as I come around the corner I can see a long cars turning right towards me and I've got a car at the junction on the left just watch they don't nose out watch for wheels moving we'll back off ever so slightly because there's a bit of a queue of traffic I'm just watching these cars that wanted to change lanes from the right hand lane to my lane that's potentials there as the right hand lane gets busier so I'll give himself a bit of space right at this point now I'm not going to filter I'm not allowed to filter unless I'm doing less than 30 k's an hour in this country in this state we're good through the lights as I go through this under these trees I can see the road climbing up the hill lots of lights on but no brakes got a left junction with a right Volkswagen Golf he's backed back a little bit we're good he's not going anywhere just going to squeeze up a little bit lots going on behind me everybody queuing but nobody's been too much of a cockhead again junctions to the left no cars there can see in the distance the road swings to the right and drops down there's a bit of brake lights so I've got to remember it's Friday night people are edging to get home car turning left in front of this Hyundai in front back off slightly and then ease back up again so around to the right now and it's dropping down just watching behind me keeping a good eye on what's going on I'm in the blind spot of this Navara, but I'm safe. I'm not going to try and squirt past any further past him. I'm going to stick on his left and back corner there. As I come around this corner, I can see right down. It isn't queuing, which is nice. There's not much of a queue. Lots of brake lights because I'm going down the hill. I've got a junction to my left or a car waiting to come out. Just watch he doesn't come out. There's a tendency for vehicles to when we get a bit nearer the bottom of this hill for them to swap lanes from that right hand lane to the left hand lane if there's less traffic it's what happens happened to me yesterday I watched it I saw it and 
give enough room for it to happen and luckily I had no serious conflict as I'm coming down here now the lights are still red right at the front so I'm just backing off there's no point in racing down because you can just go into the back of people you can skid off am I going to get a chance to do a bit of filtering here I might do it's a shoulder check there and I'm not going to bother I could have done but we've got a green I'm not going to create much progress by just watching the beamer behind by filtering there I'm going to get through anyway just backing off now I went straight over the yellow a white line then a big white arrow I tend to try and keep off them even if I'm upright shoulder checks this lane goes to the left lane here I'm just going to have a good look around I'm going to flip my visor up hit your chin came a bit too quick to this car here in front just watching these cars do their thing lots of observations here just ah. right we'll get out again just trying to get I'll back off here I'm not getting much progress because it's basically volume of traffic and I don't want to be accelerating into all them brake lights there could be a bump up the road there could be anything like that. they've calmed down now it's quite quite a lot of volume of traffic so i'm just sticking back getting a good view down the road what will happen in a second is i'll get out again this lane it will become the left hand lane after this exit however in another five or six hundred meters that lane closes it becomes two lanes so I'll get out now, the car coming up on my right shoulder, I'm going to back off again. And now I'm going to get with the flow of traffic because what's going to happen is cars on this left slip road come in and cause a bit more congestion in the left hand lane as that lane becomes, all these lanes become two quite quickly. So the likelihood is this road will get a bit congested in the left hand side and it'll open up for me in the outside lane like it has done here so this are all squeezing up a bit in the left lane and I'm just going to cru cruise past here just watch this Mazda get past and away we go up the hill as I get through this corner here I'm a little bit close to this juicy orange uh, Ford Falcon in front I'll just back off ever so slightly and I can see up the hill lots of busy traffic Friday night's lovely but it's looking good Shoulder checks, always have a good look at the uh, slip road, see what's coming up. I like to be left hand lane unless overtaking, but the mere, there's just, there's just the size of, sorry, the volume of traffic is making it quite difficult to get over there. And I'm bang on the speed limit now, so I'm just going to use this outside lane for overtaking, which is what it's there for, as is the middle lane. A lot of people doing the right thing on the left hand side today, which is phenomenal for a change. I'm just climbing up the hill, I'm looking up and uh, making reasonable progress. Good looks all around. It's been a good little uh, exercise. That I hope you enjoyed my little. How long have been riding? 20 minutes? Thanks for joining me. I might do a bit more before I get over, I might add some to this video if anything occurs that's worth mentioning. I'm Rider Guider, I'm Neil. This is the channel, this is where the channel started from doing, for, for doing commentary, doing defensive riding strategies. We are evolving, we've got a lot of stuff happening in the future. Quite a lot of ambition, it's just getting time to put it all into place and uh, making sure things are good. At this point I'm going to go middle lane, lots of shoulder checks, and again, there's nothing to say, I can't go left lane now, I'm getting good progress, I'm not going to waste any time, I'm not going to gain more than 5 or 6 seconds in the next 20 kilometres if I'm just sat here, sat in the outside lane, they're just as congested there as they are in the left hand lane, so where I am here, I'm not having to worry about my left hand shoulder so much, I can just let that be. I've only got to really be looking over here and just keeping an eye on things in the mirror. It just takes a little bit of uh, pressure off. And I can relax and enjoy it. 